On the Health Watch tonight, how much sleep do you get at night? And if you get too little or too much, you might be increasing your risk for heart disease. Dr. Malika Marshall has the story. As a nurse in a sleep clinic, Scott Moran knows how important a good night's rest is professionally and personally. I was diagnosed about 15 years ago with sleep apnea. I finally had an answer to why I was so tired. New research shows people who sleep less than six hours a night may be at increased risk for cardiovascular disease. The study in the Journal of the American College of Cardiology finds an association between poor sleep quality and having more plaque buildup in the arteries throughout the body. Dr. Deepak Bhatt is a cardiologist at Brigham and Women's Hospital. Having plaque in the arteries, say, to the heart is what predisposes to heart attacks, and having plaque in the brain is what causes most forms of stroke. Previous studies show lack of sleep can also increase other heart disease risk factors, like high blood pressure, inflammation, and obesity. But too much sleep may also be bad for your heart. The latest study found that sleeping more than eight hours a night can lead to increased plaque buildup in arteries, especially for women. Probably the sweet spot for sleep duration is around seven to eight hours. But I should say, though, that's seven to eight hours of really good sleep because, again, the quality of sleep matters. It's not just the quantity. That's the amount of sleep Scott aims to get each night. He encourages anyone having trouble sleeping to see a sleep specialist. Snoring, waking up more tired than when you went to bed, any, any symptoms like that, you, your alertness doesn't seem, you're having memory loss issues, definitely get it checked. With the help of a CPAP machine, he says he feels well rested every day. Hmm. Now the study also finds that people with short, disrupted sleep are more likely to drink alcohol and caffeine. Uh -oh. yeah. I think you sort of understand well, that, that caffeine sense. association, yeah. but yeah. alcohol oftentimes will help you fall asleep, but then you often wake yes. up in the middle of the night, yeah, unable I have a to go back. When you're also disrupted, yeah. sleep is that's what I'm. That's me. That's my life. Okay, so no it's caffeine. So I'm in trouble for you ever. Yeah. I'm in trouble. Oh, lots of caffeine, but yeah, I'll keep it light on the alcohol. And yeah. those are the two things I think we've all had: babies and small children, yeah. and the sleep deprivation. Boy, the struggle is real when you're dealing with that, but also so many studies about third shift workers whose sleep gets all disrupted. disrupted. And I used to do that. I mean, for yes, years yeah. I worked an overnight shift. Or anchoring a David uh, morning show like David and I did. Yeah. You, you get up at weird hours. So what's your best plan to not take in all that? Okay, so, you know, obviously you need to have a good sleep or bedtime yeah. routine. We talk about that. We talk about yeah, it with yeah, kids. Yeah. But it's true yeah. for adults, too. Same time going to bed, same time mm -hmm. waking up. Try not to do anything that's too distracted right before you go to sleep. Avoid some of those sort of substances that yeah. can make it hard for you to sleep. Yeah. And see a specialist. You pointed at me. Okay. <laughs> Doctor, thank <laughs> Sorry, you very God. much. I appreciate it. <laughs>